now, lads. Don't trip me up. There we go. We can all shove in and eat. They're all looking well. And up here are the yos, some of whom are trying to court through the two gates with the rams. And luckily, I have the two gates. Yeah, you're interested in the boys, are you? Well, it's just not gonna happen. Not yet, anyway. Yep. So these are the three who are interested in the rams. And they're hanging out here giving the rams a hard time, kind of saying, oh, we're here, cooey. Well, cooey, you're gonna have to stay there. You have to a couple more weeks and then you can have the boys. Okay, ladies? <laughs> the rest of the flock heard me chatting to these ladies and are now coming over saying, what's the story? Well, Sorry, ladies, you're not gonna meet the boys yet. Look at them all. But they're not all in season. There's only three that are in season. The rest of them are going like, is there any food involved? We want food. You guys have the apple orchard and have been eating delicious apples. So no, you can see there's more of the flock is over there lounging about, having a lovely time in the orchard after the woodland. Isn't that right? You're not coming in here, I can tell you now. And there ain't no food. The disappointment is palpable. No boys yet, girls. Not yet. Hello, you. How are you? Time, I was just about to video and show you the, um, <laughs> This stuff is, uh, oh. <laughs> the cat is all over me. Anyway, these are about to bloom. And this means that there will be pollen for uh, October, November, December. So I planted these three years ago and you can see they're maturing and they're about to bloom and they have a lovely yellow flower and they bloom through, they can be flowering all the way into January. So I'm always trying to think of the insect life and particularly the pollinators. This is what's happening while I'm trying to film. <laughs> aren't it? Yeah, aren't you? I can get my cats get in the way, don't you? you? They just need attention. Loads of it, isn't that right time? This is um, Mustard's brother. And time is a rescue cat and his brother. They were both rescued as wild kitty siblings. But as you can see, they're very tame. With me. They're not very tame with visitors necessarily. <laughs> Rude! Don't show your bottom to the rest of the world. Anyway, there are the uh, beautiful, blooming... Um, I always want to call them... Harmonia, but they're not Harmonia. <laughs> I'm always so stupid about plant names. Um, God, I can't think of their name. Anyway, uh, I'm pathetic sometimes. I really am pathetic. I can't remember anything. Um, anyway, it's, um, it's not Hookera. That's another plant. It begins with the H anyway. And I always mistake it for Harmonium. You know, the squeeze boxes that make music? But they're not. They're prickly bushes with beautiful yellow blooms for November, December, January for the insect life and the pollinators. Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> I have disruptive cats is all I can say. Are you a disruptive cat? Are you a disruptive cat? <laughs> Oh, and I've got disruptive, disruptive dogs and dogs as well. Aren't you?
cats and dogs. I gotta retrieve my glove. There we go. Anyway, they're about to bloom. As you can see, I do have what people call butterfly bush and I've been planting more if you've been watching my videos. So this one I'm gonna have to uh, is well covered now underneath this beech tree. This beech tree was planted by my brother could be 35 years ago, 35, 40 years ago. So it's funny. The older you get, the faster trees grow. And look at the hollies. I planted those hollies about 17 years ago. A lot of these trees here are planted about between 15, 16, 17 years ago. And this evergreen oak, it's really turning into a tree now. It's rather lovely. When they get out of the baby stage, trees are just become so glorious. So glorious. They're having a lovely time. I don't know where the puppy is. Oh, oh, oh! I need to get more of these oxygenating plants. They're growing. I got some from a friend, but I need more. I have to get more next year, but the fish are doing really, really well. Doing really, really well. As you can see, everything's going to seed. Few blooms still happening. Ooh, and a bumblebee. Look at that. Gone. But a few blooms are blooming. Bumblebees love these. I know they're tender, so I'm gonna have to dig them up and preserve them. They're perennials, but a lot of times they're treated like annuals because they die back. Anyway, there we go. Is that right, pup? Yeah. All our water tanks are full of rainwater. Ah, <sighs> getting ready for another storm to come. Another storm, another storm. These are such a beautiful blue. I forgot to show this. I am partial to these. They have got such beautiful petals with that pink hollyhock. You can see there's a snail snugged in there, but I like these reds as well. So hopefully over time, the combination of those reds and pinks will fill out. I only planted that one and that one last year. So I'm sure they will flesh out more and more as time goes by. Isn't it right, Pat? Look at the leaf varieties here. I love this yellow stuff. It looks kind of like colt's foot. I'm not sure what it is. But uh, everything's got a mixed palette of leaves in here. It's from all of those. Moving over to these, moving over to these, moving over to the ferns. Then you come up here and it's the grape and the cyclamen. Clematis, not cyclamen, clematis but it's a wonderful mixed palette of leaves and different greens, etc. And over here is London's Pride. And then the last of these, and these, which pollinators are still, these, I love these. Again, I'm gonna have to dig these up and put them in the greenhouse because they're, they are perennials, but they're annuals uh, with our frosts and everything. What? What? What do you want? What do you want? 
Huh? You just want attention. I know you. You just want attention. They're so happy in their new fresh pasture. They're not waiting for their evening meal. Watch this. Man, babies! Man! The field is rumply. They're going down beneath the hill. And then they're going to be coming up the hill. Come on! <laughs> Come on, babies! Come on! Funny how they always overshoot it. <laughs> oh, too funny. And the alpaca are nowhere to be seen. I know they're down in the field, but they don't have any interest in the evening meal at the moment, anyway. Whereas these guys do.